when we see older women with younger men, it shakes the model that we're used to seeing. It shakes our traditional foundation. And that makes everybody re-examine their position. And in doing so, we have also stretched society's image of what is a vital, vibrant woman. Youth and beauty have become so prevalent in our thinking that this radical shift, this little rub of the older women and the younger men is beginning to make us itch and not feel comfortable because it might just be saying they have something more to offer. Right now, in our time period, everything is up in the air. The women's movement, our sexual liberation, the dust hasn't even settled yet. We are still finding out who we are. Women now have education, great jobs. We have power and status. So what you're seeing in society is women making alternative choices. What I'm seeing with older women and younger men is the tip of the iceberg. It's a preview to a new way of choosing our mate. It's a preview that's much more authentic. Again, it's not based on appropriateness. It's not based on survival needs. It's based on connection, energy, resonance. Doggone it, I love that, Susan. <laughs> You know, traditional marriage as we know it has been was based upon survival. People married because women didn't have any rights or any choices, and so you needed to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. That was Susan Winter, co-author of Older Women, Younger Men. Thank so it's you. changing. It's yeah. changing. Yeah. And um, it's changing because we're changing. There are pioneers who mm -hmm. are willing to do this mm -hmm. in small communities that, you know, maybe we don't all hear about. Mm -hmm but have been chronicled, and it was not easy. Five years ago, when many of these women did it, they were driven out of their communities. Um, I had a negative experience you in my little hometown. You received and you were called a prostitute in oh, your hometown. Prostitute, when you dated witch, a younger man. everything. Yes, prostitute lived with witch. a younger man. Yeah. 16 years younger. Committed living relationship with, yeah. And, and, the, and the town did what to you, the people? Well, not everybody, mm -hmm. but quite a number of individuals voiced the fact that um, different is bad. Mm -hmm. And I am bad mm -hmm. because I've made this choice. Mm -hmm. I'm emotionally impaired. I am evidently mentally ill, mm -hmm. um, manipulative. And how long ago was this? How I guess you're mentally ill, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Men it's like mentally ill looks like it's fine. Yeah. 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 This, this state of mental illness is like fun. Now, the wonderful thing that I love that you say is that being with an older man challenges you as a woman to be comfortable in your own skin, to be comfortable with who you really are. Now, when you're with a younger man, it's so, all the buttons are pushed. I mean, I remember shopping mall with my boyfriend and just catching the reflection of myself in the glass window. And I went, oh my God, that's me. I'm really old. He's really young. His face was so tight. He was so young. <laughs> And, the, and you have to have a sense of humor when you're going through that because if you're doing that, this is your life. You're making this choice. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. I guess uh -huh. I'm here. Uh -huh. This is what I'm doing. Okay. Who's likely to pursue who? We'll talk about that when we come back. We'll be right back. Excellent.